Hello and welcome to Orwell Ignorance is Strength. So we played the first Orwell game. I believe this is supposed to be a like second standalone game slash kind of an expansion on the first because as you can see, welcome event accepted to Orwell, please create a profile. My previous profile is not connected because it is its own separate game and not DLC. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, create. Ooh, we have- oh, the pictures actually have color this time. Well, that's kind of fun. Okay, um... We want to try to be accurate-ish. Oh no, I think the other ones did have color. Yeah, they did. Just not as vibrant. So we're just gonna go with that one, and then we're gonna do Brie again, because obviously Brie is me. Not doing that one. Okay, please agree to the following terms. I am willing to severely affect the lives of citizens and non-citizens of the nation. I will do whatever is necessary to keep the nation from harm. While working, I will only adhere I will only adhere only to the statutes and principles of the office. We must agree. Oh, I wish there's a check mark. Not as satisfying. Setting up profile and processing. Thank you for ensuring the safety. Oh! Yeah, I want to pair with my other one. Okay, what does that do for me? Oh, aptitude test. In order to qualify for special duty within Orwell, taking the aptitude test is mandatory. The test requires you to complete a set of tasks, follow the on-screen instructions carefully, and answer truthfully to the best of your beliefs. Note that an un insufficient test result will disqualify you from special duty permanently, okay? Um... Yes, we paired with Bree, so I mean, pretty much the same. Uh, drag and drop at least one of the highlighted statements, data chunks, into the answer sheet on the left screen. Note that your choices are permanent, okay? Which of the following statements are true to your attitude? I want to be a pioneer in the most advanced security program. I want to make the nation a safer place. I like spying on people. I want to protect people from harm. I am in it for the money. I want to say I want to be a pioneer. Okay. And we can only do one, right? Oh, it says at least one. I want to say I want to be a pioneer. Um, I want to protect people from harm. And... I want to make the nation a safer place. Next step. Which of the following persons do you likely consider having committed a crime? Do, do I know any information about them? I don't know any information about them. I mean, what if it's like this person? I mean, I, like, I don't have any information. I'm just looking at, I'm just profiling them based on how they look. Like, if I could at least see what, like... Like, honestly, this guy looks suspicious. This guy looks like he's probably committed some, like, money laundering. She looks nice. She just looks like she's being profiled because of her freaking religion. So, I'm gonna go with that guy. I mean, actually, you look like you're, like, stealing money. You look like the CEO that, like, is laundering money. Okay. Uh, which of the following statements do you consider to be true, if any? Uh, an unjust law can and should be violated. There is no such thing as a justified lie. That's... I don't think that's true. Um, there are two sides to every story. A government should safeguard the citizens by any means necessary. Absolute truth. I do believe absolute truth does exist. Like, technically there is facts. Like, something happened, but like the perspective of how they're perceived... Or I guess the way that they're perceived... It, is different. So that's why I also say there's probably two sides to every story. Because you can know the facts and you can know what happened, but you don't know the reasoning behind each action. And I think that's what we're gonna go with, because I don't know. I kind of feel like the government should help people, but then there's, like, boundaries. I'm not gonna say an unjust law can and should be violated, because not, 
just because the, you determine the law is unjust, it is still a law, so you can still be charged. And I do believe there are justified lies, so. Oh, okay. Um, given the choice, would you prefer to have your medical record or your dating profile investigated? I mean, I got nothing to hide. Oh, we did do both? Yeah, honestly, probably my dating profile, because, like, if people look at my medical records and that gets to, like, insurance, they could be like, oh, I see you have this in your family history. Why don't we charge you more in case you might get cancer like the rest of your family members? Like, no, thank you. Okay. Which information from your dating profile would you give an to an investigator willingly? Uh, profile picture? Probably I'll tell you how long my relationship was. I do not mind saying I am a straight female. Not gonna let you look at my uh, chats. Sexual preferences. What if you have none? What if you're boring? Oh well. We'll keep that a secret, I guess. Okay. Task six. Confronted with the situation below, which action would you take? Okay. Your best friend boasts about having been accepted into Orwell. Since you are working for Orwell yourself, you know that ta talking about your job is punishable by imprisonment. Uh... I would probably, I wouldn't say, I would probably feign ignorance, honestly, because it would be like, I don't want to sit here and I would either do, I wouldn't say this one because you're just saying I'm going to inform the authorities, like I wouldn't go that far, that's why I would say I would feign ignorance. How does this conflict with an, oh, I'm saying, I guess you can only pick one, that's why it conflicts with the data chunk. I'm like, why is there a conflict here? What? The office has rejected you as an agent for special duty. Let me redo the test. Okay. Hello, O'Brien. Is that you? I have to disappoint you. What? Raban, what? How? After all this time? What the heck? I didn't think you'd- Remember what you did. Again, I must disappoint you. I have not been blessed with a short memory. What? Raban, listen. I thought I was retaking the me. test. I don't know anything about what What's happened. What's happening? That's the truth. <laughs> truth. See, I never had much regard for the Bible, but there's one remarkable groundbreaking moment. Before being sentenced to death, Jesus goes on and on about being a witness for the truth. But Pilate defies him with the simplest of all questions. What is Did truth? I pass by saying I would redo the test and just moving question. on? I've been pondering over for a very long time now. How much of the information ending up on our screens every single day has passed through so many other minds before, each one with their own bias and agenda. It is all cut down to size, proportioned, ready to be consumed. And yet we greedily swallow it all in blissful ignorance, because our hunger is unending. Stop the nonsense and get to the point. What do you want? To ask you a question. What is truth? I don't understand. Now you're the disappointing one. You of all people should, Oleg Bakay. There is only one thing about truth that is certain. Truth is dead. As you soon will be. What? Oh crap. You. How did you manage? How? Vart! Vart! I'm very confused. I thought I was retaking the aptitude test. I didn't know we were going to keep going. Episode 1 thesis, so like I said, I guess we just keep going. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you think you can redo the aptitude test just like that? That's either downright naive or you're willing to shift the truth to your liking. You might be exactly whom I need. My name is Ampleford. I am a part of a special division within the government, the office. We get called in for the delicate matter. So I'm assuming, okay. So I guess everyone doesn't pass the aptitude test then. 
And then it's like, if you're willing to, I guess, conform, then they like you. Not really sure, but all right. A man called Oleg Begay disappeared a couple days ago. The last we heard of him was that call I just played to you. I have added a transcript of the dialogue to your reader tool. You can read it again or listen to the recording. When you're done, open the unknown person profile on the left, okay? So it said, hello, O'Brien, is that you? I have to disappoint you. Uh, I mean, we kind of listened to it already. I'll read this part again, though. Oh, yeah, because it was saying truth is dead. What is truth? And then it says... Yeah, Oleg Begay is supposed to be dead. Okay. Since you are paired with an investigator, I'll assume you're familiar with the procedure and spare you most technicalities. Okay. For starters, upload Oleg Bakay's name from the transcript to his file by dragging- Yeah, we already know. So since I connected to the first game, that's why it's like, oh, you're fine. Except I'm not the same person. Good. This profile is now primed on Oleg Bakay. Now other data chunks related to this person might appear. Check the transcript for newly found data chunks. So he was- he had a death threat. There's probably more up top. That's an odd thing to say, isn't it? We're taking that as a death threat, as did the National Beholder. Oh, I guess that's actually it. Okay. Uh, the National Beholder is the most respectable news site in the nation. You may browse their headlines freely to get informed. The recording of the call you heard ended up it ended up in their newsroom. Why? That's a piece of puzzle. That's p the piece of the puzzle we're missing right now. However, this article is a good starting point for our investigation on Oleg Bakay. To proceed, please adapt his picture and profession. Okay. So he's an army officer. Um, here is this- oh. As you see, Oleg Bakay is an important figure in the pa Parges army, our neighboring country. We are very concerned about his fate. Are you though? And then that's his photo. Looks like a nice man. Not exactly the most tender smile, but that's not what we're here for after all. I thought he looked like a nice man. Um, we have... Audio between Officer Bacay and Raven Robin Vart. Uh, the name that Oleg Bacay mentioned in the call. Let's focus on Bacay for the moment. We'll be get, we'll get back to Vart in a session in a second. Uh, nothing else is on this page, but we have. Why does it want me to keep looking here? Oh, there's the bomb. Yep. Remember that real nice. Our, oh, wait. Wait a second. So that's from the first day. But look, that one, uh, I remember that, that story was there too. Can I look at these? I can read more. Let's see, I remember that one. I also remember this one. Else. Yeah, I actually was this the, was April thirteenth the beginning of the last one. I think it was. He was a captain. Agent, you may not have noticed by now, but for every data chunk you upload, ten minutes of time pass. Due to Orwell's extensive search algorithms, the events around us will unfold whether or not we are making progress. Keep this in mind. Oh, geez, that okay. I saw that moving, but I couldn't tell. Uh, he goes by Janice. Janice, how fitting. He still goes by this call sign. I'm granting you access to our database, which you should have to look- should have a look at. You'll understand it better after you see the files. Oh, should I not upload everything here? Let's think about this in a second. Please insert call sign. While yes, you are in fact worried about our relations with Pargis because of Bakay. You will see that the whole truth is more complex. As you're not a simple investigator, you have access to an Orwell build design 
to meet the specific needs of the office. We can utilize the data stored in the profiler in the left to circumvent certain restrictions that would otherwise bar us from making progress. Make good use of this, this ability within our database and the data stored in Bakay's profile so far to solve any, my little mystery. Okay. So, this time thing? I'm questioning things for sure. You did it. Well done. I'll leave you to your well-deserved info for a moment to truly understand why this case is so precious. Well, that's like a newer photo, I think. Or at least a different photo. In case you're wondering, yes, that really is the same person. I don't like having this time limit. Okay, so we have... I don't think we need his nationality because we already know that, right? Um... Oh, he was a confidential informant. So we need that. Yes, Bakay is our informant, placed inside the Pargesan army for years. Now vanish into thin air. You surely grasp the danger this possesses, should it ever come out. We need to understand what happened and then possibly retrieve him or contain the damage. To get to the bottom of this, we will have to investigate the person who called him last. Uh, you already found a trace of him before on the Beholder. I will now- I will turn Vart into a target person now. Time to pick up. We have the phone. I feel like that- also having this information right here. Luckily, Bakay is using one of our registered phone devices to communicate. It seems to be online right now. You can access it in, using the Insider tool, which I'll unlock for you. I also think the password thing's important. Of course we do inspect and observe the habits of our agents, what did you expect? Well, I was just talking about maybe for future reference. Yeah, see there's still information here we haven't even touched on at all. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course Bakay has locked his phone with our own encryption tool. I'm afraid not even Oral can break that. You'll have to do this old-fashioned way by finding and applying Bakay's key. See if you can find a hint. Uh, you may have to dig a little deeper to uncover it, though, so it may be advisable to check other sources. Okay, so it's said that he likes to use other names of people he's close with. Um... I don't see... That's the transcript. I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be Vart, would it? Let's see, history... Nothing there. Welcome page. Okay. Uh. We can add. Oh. Go to Raven. I mean, would Raven, the people's voice, we have we have heard of him. This prosper preposterous news site has people rallying for protests in the park just for years. Judging by that call, Raven and Oleg seemed well acquainted, even if this is the most friendly relationship. Your task here is twofold. First and foremost, we are to locate Oleg. Then, in order to understand whether Vart is behind Bakay's disappearance, we need to find out what connects the two in the first place. Okay. Would Vart be the... Okay, so it's not that one. We're gonna have to keep going. One more thing before I let you roam freely. Remember that we are bound to the division of powers defined by the ethical codex. You're now leaving charted territory as far as I'm concerned and have to rely on the data you upload to make my calls. Doubt anything you read, especially when it comes to the people's voice. Don't give me wrong info to work with. I'm counting on you. Well, yeah, I don't want to give you wrong info. Okay, so that's his photo. And then he, we have his email. That seems like good information. Very good. This will allow you to observe his work email account through the listener tool. Once Raven uh, Vart receives an email or sends one through that account, you'll be notified and be able to read it. Uh, I don't know if we need that one. Let's see. Listener. Nothing in the listener. 
Uh, let's see. Um, I don't think that's what we want. The about us editors, that's him. Well, that might actually be important. It's an organization to look into. Supported by a national donation network. Mm -hmm. If we were to prove that Raven Vart is using the donations for something harmful, we could pull the plug on him. Oh, listener. Subject, good luck. Uh, let's see. Raven, is... Uh, so I see you have decided to make use of my gift to you. A good choice. I am in the impression everything will come to pass. Okay, well, he's talking to David Johns. I don't know if that's important. A fan. Cute. Well, I didn't know if that's, like, someone who might need to look into. Okay, so the nation burns again. President Puppet. Oh, what is this? Updates on Blabber account. That might be important, actually. That one's not. And he said, let there be riots. And there were riots. Mm-hmm. How did this man gain such an immense influence over his followers? Okay. Uh... It says, one thing is certain, Oleg Bikay will not be missed. Uh, this is a misunderstanding. I am not... Okay, so he posted this, and then he said, this is a misunderstanding. This soldier, oh. So he's unhappy. He is unhappy about Oleg's disappearance. How come I don't buy it? Why, yes, of course, the death threat uttering the phone call, that's why. I don't... I think he was saying Oleg's not going to be missed because, like, the army's not going to miss him, but I don't think he personally... Okay, what have you done, Raven? Uh, it sounds like they have... Kid okay, sounds like they're accusing you us of having kidnapped or killed this man. What have you done to Oleg? Let's not jump to conclusions. I'm sure that Raven can offer an explanation. I'm starting to doubt whether the people's voice represents what I stand for. We sell ourselves as a blog, okay? As part of that, it is our duty to criticize the government, blah, blah, blah. We do certainly do not kill people, okay? Here is where all the information is. Calm down, Shannon. Since when do you believe that the national beholder prints? They are trying to frame us. I have nothing to do with Bacay's apparent uh, disappearance. Did I call him? Sure. Did I get a little aggressive? I did. You see, Bekay and I, we have a history. Before we left Parges, Bekay had his mindset on joining the army. He said, he asked me to take care of his 14-year-old daughter, and I said yes. Okay. So, that's good, because we, now we know he has a daughter. Ah, I see. The two knew, know each other from back when they lived in Parges. Well done, Agent. With the basic connection between the two, our in-depth research of the lead uh, of, of the lead up to the phone call can now begin. I need you to investigate and upload anything that you think is relevant and accurate about the background of these two. Discard anything else. Um, from what you gather, I'll put together a theory about what happened and what we're going to do about it. At the very least, we need a solid motive for Raven Vart making his threat to Oleg BK and an explanation as to how Vart could contact him on his protected phone. If you need to keep track of your objectives, click on the oral eye in the upper left corner. Okay. There's something in the listener. Hold on. I learned... Okay, there's a conflict. I'm not gonna do this yet, because I know conflicts are hard to resolve. What is this one? So here he admitted to threatening him, but he denies being involved. Okay. Um... Okay. Thank you for your ongoing support and your kind words. You have proven yourself to be a true supporter. So this means he's in contact with David Johns. I mean, we, I thought we already had that, did we not? I guess not. 
A supporter. Pretty sp unspecific, huh? I see you found your first non-target person. Good. Or we'll, we'll keep track of them, but no data chunks or new documents for them will appear. I must authorize them to become a target person first, and I only will do so if it feels necessary. I mean, I'm gonna... It says he expects a stir. Okay, Thread, what are you planning on doing against the FTB? P. Uh, is there any information here? Oh, here we go. Raven. I see how you're going to discourage uh, your concerns. As the school's principal, I will therefore consider our options to protect the schools in Prava. Uh, doesn't think highly. Oh, so Oleg. He doesn't think highly of the nation, but we have a daughter's name. So this is daughter Rodka. Uh, let's see. I guess I can't use these photos of them either. But we can go here. He used to be the school's principal. Oh, I had the wrong person. Whoopsies. Well, that might explain his preachy attitude. And then... He doesn't think the FTP is fighting for the right cause. Sympathizes with forces of the true parges. Okay, listener. Let's go back. Revised article. Uh, hey Raven. I finished revising the article you sent me and scheduled it for 3pm like you asked. Don't know if it'll be- if I'll be available for another one. I'm going to be a bit preoccupied a bit occupied tonight. Maybe I can spare some time remotely if I get a chance. One more thing. This bouquet thing is getting ugly. Uh, you know, I'd go to any, like, just like when we moved, you're my brother. Nothing can change that, even if you're not... What about Karen? I don't think that's really his brother, so I'm not gonna do that one. I think that's like, you know, just the... Statement. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff here. See, they still think... They still think he has something to do with the disappearance. They don't think anything else happened. Do we have anything in the residence or visitors? I still- Oh! Oh! Never mind. I know. That's why we have the name. It could be his password. There we go. Oral reports you have removed the encryption from Bakay's device. Open Sesame. Good work, Agent. This will aid us greatly. That's what it was. Okay, so we don't care about contacts. We know he was here in the last 24 hours. Prava. Oleg Bakay is in his former hometown. Peculiar. Peculiar. Why is he hiding out there? Or rather, from whom? Raven? Excellent work. We will retrieve Oleg Bakay once we have a clear picture as to why he has gone missing in the first place. And what that call meant. Okay. So we have that. Gallery. That's it. Why do you have books? Oh wait, no. I was gonna say, were books illegal in these times? I don't think so. Okay. So, oh! He was scared that his cover was blown. He tried to warn us that Vart had compromised his cover. How could Vart have done that? How did he know? Keep looking for an answer, and that's be something we haven't found out about this mess yet. And then he went into hiding, so that's why he disappeared. So, what is that supposed to mean? Hiding? You mean voluntarily? There was no plan which included going into hiding anywhere. Uh-oh. I think that's all the messages we can look at, actually. And then call history. Oh, but we have his number now, so we can listen to those phone calls. Perfect. With this number, we can track Raven Vart's calls to and from his mobile phone which within the listener tool. Uh, let's tune in now. Karen, my love. Oh, there's voices. Hey, 
Having a good day? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so far, so good. I called to tell you I'll be home late today. I'm sorry. Again? <sighs> they don't pay you enough for all the time you give them. It's not about payment, and you know that. These people rely on me. They need me. Yeah? Well, I need my wife at home with me some of the time. Am I asking okay, for too so much? I know this is his wife. Raban, not so long ago you oh, were Raban, among them. sorry. You have been in their position. Yes, I know that. So was Ilya, so were the others. Yet none of us were national soldiers responsible for invading and ravaging countries. If it weren't for them driving refugees out in the first place, why, we wouldn't need these camps. This, again? We talked about Oops. this multiple times. Whoopsie. I'm well aware that this extra I time you spend anything there is right for now, her, so I'm gonna wait for the phone call it? to end. Raban, she is. I'm worried. That's all. She's more reclusive now than ever. Something Ew. isn't right. One more reason to avoid her. You want me to cherry who pick who deserves my assistance and who doesn't? All people get the same treatment, the same attention that I mandate. I thought. I thought but you why loved she that saying... about me. Oh. I do. You're right. Of course you are. You always are. Happy wife, happy life. I'm sorry. It's it's okay. So, are you good with me getting home late tonight then? I am. Thank you. I will be waiting for you. N no, don't wait. It might get late. Are you well, gonna cheat? Well, I can hardly go anywhere else. You shouldn't say things like that. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. See you. Okay. So that's it. So let me upload it's Karen, my wife. Mm-hmm. It makes me wonder how it must feel to be married to this guy. I think that's literally all you get from this. There was no other information to upload. But we might get information about her profile, right? People's voice arrival. Oh, so Karen is the appointed social worker. That's good to know. Uh, Raven of Art married as a science social worker. Do you find this as odd as I do? I didn't. Oh, I thought. Okay. Um, we were assigned to the Outer Bonton reception camp. I, it's just like it's hard to determine everything like I I don't want to like just upload information since we now have like a time limit so let me see what does this say uh, principal determined to keep school services going. So this is whenever he was the principal. Uh, let's see. Which may, therefore, to ensure the safety, the school administration has requested protection by the army. Mr. Vart said to keep lessons going. He wants to ensure safety. And then it said... Due to current related events related to the war, the school administration has now decided to provide a protective hideout by upgrading our library to a completely autonomous shelter. Okay. Why do you- Okay, so they- do. We, is that important? Like a bomb shelter in the school? An autonomous shelter at a school. Seems a bit overprotective if you ask me, but then again. That's what I was kind of saying. Um, okay, so let's go back to what have you done, Raven. So we have, we haven't found, okay, show the conflict. So leave Pargis, and that is how you abandon not only your home. Okay, so here he said he didn't want to uh, go to the nation. Now if we go look at the other one, which is in 2017, it said... Uh, but soon after, instead of training, he left for the nation. So the other one was just his opinion in that, but here it's a fact. Oh, wrong profile. 
So he had left the nation and wanted to find work there. Mm -hmm, good, that might account for his loyalty towards us. And we also have... Uh, he admitted to having threatened him, but he denies being involved. So, I mean, that does, that's related to his disappearance. I have to kind of do that. Raven Vard makes his truth and lies adeptly to trick his people. Take whatever he publishes with a grain of salt, as there, as there are typically few truths. Be very, very careful when dealing with him, Agent. I have to rely solely on you. Okay. Well, I'm saying he's still, like, admitted. Is that just... Okay, that's just taking us back there. We have users. Nothing here. The log. So... He made changes to donations. There are currently no drafts. There's more in the news. Faculty. That's just a new picture. Dude, I guess we could add the other picture. And then it says he teaches English and philosophy. I don't know if that's important. Kind of felt important, especially the fact that it was philosophy. Okay. Crime rate continues to drop. What about here? You want me to look at safety bill? I've already looked at this page lots of times. More news. Well, yeah, there's the protection of the army. I don't see any links here to click. So that was something to drag. Mission. Record of attendance. Uh. Don't have anything about you, do we? I don't have a date to like add. Okay, but that's something interesting to look at. Do we have a date for you? That's your date of birth. I think I need something more about his daughter. Then this is the party. We don't really need any party pages are pretty. Eh. See, this one is just insert the call sign, which we've already done. Um. Well, he served in Prava, which is his hometown. Oh, what happened? What happened? Crime statistics continue to get fake. Okay, that's the pending draft. Nothing I can do here. We have that record of attendance still. What else do we have about Olympic? Uh, he protected Prava from the threat through anti government group, forces of true Parges. So that's the FTP. A bloody mess that civil war. Parges has suffered a great deal from it, so did the nation. Okay, so we have the FTP stuff. And then he got a Medal of Honor. Oh yes, Oleg McKay is a Paragon of Honor. We know that article is supposed to be released at 3. So I don't know if we're supposed to try to find out how he found out his identity or what. Because it's going to be 2.20 as soon as I upload this. Wait, army protection for our school? Seriously? Things must have been bad or someone must have been really worried. Especially regarding the shelter. Yeah, because the shelter came before the army. Um, projects. I uh, don't really need to look at that. Okay, people's voice arrival. I mean, we could say he had a, a refugee camp. Nothing really there. What, what's flashing at me? Headlines. Oh, here we go. So I have his social security number. And we have his date of birth. When it hits 3 o'clock, he's supposed to... 
There's the date of registration. That's what I need to go look in the attendance. Well, right after the safety bill came into effect. Bad timing from their point of view, I guess. Okay, let's see this article. Oh, and I'll also do the notebook. Oh, it's the faked one. Excellent. With that, we will be able to get a glimpse directly into the lion's den and probably use useful data on our targets. Okay, so now there's no pending article draft. But he published crime statistics continue to get faked. Okay. So I want to look at his desktop. Pictures. Uh, let's not look at pictures. System browser history. Nothing crazy there. Okay, um, there was even a phone number. Okay, a token of my appreciation to your blog. Raven, I found something you might find very interesting. I've done some... Okay. So we had a different phone number? The number for Bakay's protected phone is out there? This cannot be happening. This is how Raven Vart reached him, and who knows how many other people have this info now. This is a complete disaster. Okay, Operation Flying Dog. So he has been uncovered right here. Dang it. I must- he, I knew he must have been revealed. This changes everything. If the case secret is out there, then that's how Vart came across the info, but this alone doesn't appear to be enough of a motive. Agent, I hate to say it, but with this new perspective on the situation, we have to put Bakay's loyalty into question. If you find any hints of a possible disloyalty of our agent, you need to let me know immediately. Okay. And we have about... And then there's the upload button. Okay, we're not gonna upload anything. I was just looking. Can I... I can't look at anything else. Okay. So let's go back to the insider. But look, that was from David Johns, so that's questionable. It's Freedom Plaza to do. We already know about all that. Oh, I don't think really, really need to know he was a rugby coach. Yes. Wait. Wasn't that the photo on his phone? So. BK has been talking to the president. What? He talked to Kazart directly and didn't inform us? Dang it, I'll have to assume this shows disloyalty towards us. Otherwise, he would have reported that in. Okay. Uh, Summer. That's just him. Why? Okay, I, what, is there a way for me to go back without going all the way back? Like, okay. And they cooperated at school. That's how he knows. Deal at school, what about? I don't know, it's a picture. It has to be with this. That has to be... See, and then the browser history, Operation Flying Dog. And we've already seen all these. I guess that's it on your phone or your computer. Okay. So we have that. I want to go back to the records of attendance. I want to see... Not you. I'm looking at the wrong person. Nope, wrong you. Wrong person. You. Yes. Okay, I don't need your birth. I have your aliases. I have your accounts. Where is that date? Okay. I want to see if we have anything for this date. Now attendance records for that date. Okay. Okay. I thought there would be more. I don't think we need more photos. Because that's just going to waste time. Okay, he's being attacked. That might be important. I hope you don't expect me to feel pity. I don't. Oh, I'm not saying to feel pity. I'm trying to see if we can get some leads somewhere. Let's see. President stops re-election plans. 
believes he's being controlled. What is the nation? The nation is corrupt. Okay. Has actually called. Okay. I. Mm, mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. He blames that assault on the government. We already know that's not true. He says there's. I mean, there's a picture of him. I guess we could add that. I mean, it's not gonna add anything. We're just wasting time. See, what are you planning on doing against the FTP? Let's see. He sympathizes with the FTP. That motive? Terrorist. Fits the picture. I mean, I'm trying to figure out a motive here. I haven't found anything. I mean, we found the history, but... Let's see. I mean, with Janice, it's like, that's... We already knew his nationality. That's not important. Anything here is just... It's manipulating. I mean, that's not really important. We already can kind of figure that one out. Uh, if I go here, the nation burns again. That's not really important. I guess we can go here and be like, he thinks the president's being controlled. President Puppet, I've seen the memes before. The nation would have zero factual benefit from control. Hmm, I guess we're treading into territory where facts aren't given any weight. <sighs> I'm gonna have to keep digging. I mean, like, I don't know what in the project and, like, all of this stuff is... I mean, we know the people. We know freaking Delacroix. And we know the positions, but... I don't know if I should just start uploading everything. Like, sure. Here's this man's nationality. whoop de doo <laughs> We already knew this. Going back to this guy, going to his phone. Uh, we have that he was also a rugby coach. Rugby. I think I said that wrong the first time. So I don't know what that's gonna do for me, but alright. We go here, it's like, oh look, we have the philosophy class picture. I'm not getting any new, like, information to dig from. Like, all these are dead ends. I can't- obviously, the records of attendance, I only have two dates. When he emigrated, his date of birth, which is 72, which he's not gonna be in the frickin' attendance record at that. He was born 75. We are- we know his daughter, but, like, we don't have any other dates here. This is here, like I said, he views mainstream media as the enemy. whoop de doo the nation burns again. This is, it says, he blames the assault on the government, which we can add that, I guess. Raven Vart seems like a real charmer after that, after that, the office has learned about him, which is not overly surprising after that phone call, I guess. He won't stop exploiting assaults and misfortune of the nation for his own ends. So that this moment isn't any different. Mm -hmm. I cannot help but wonder what that donation network of his would say if someone tipped them towards the statement. Oops. Do, I mean, I'm not getting anything new. Oh wait, was there something in here? With Karen? Oh. There we go. I don't remember that being there. Invasion? Tsk. Our efforts in Parges was, were justified operations to restore and keep the peace. And we succeeded, if I might add that. I mean, good luck. He expects a stir. I guess that adds another person. Oh, is that what I needed to do this whole time? Two dead after second explosion. Oh, okay. What is this one? Oh, the university. Yeah, we already knew about all that. Yeah, that's, that's nothing new. Well, this is happening at the same time. So he's unable to walk. 
This genuinely surprises me. How did that happen? Uh, it sounds like an explosion. Thank you! Tune in! I need something. I need information. Iliobot speaking. Oh, I don't even know how to say oh, that. Oh, hey, hey Raban. Uh, I didn't expect you to call. I'm getting ready for work. I'll be brief. I need I'll your abilities as my co-writer. You must write me an article. Oh, uh, right now? Is it important? It is. What do you want me to write about? There has been a second assault in Bonton at Stelligan University. Another yes. one? Oh, wow. They really and have got a situation a third, here, and a don't they? We need to cover it. Draw attention to how the government is failing its people. I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to pull it off at work. I uh, feel like they're watching me already. Do you oh, stand with me, brother? Or has the nation's corruption and wealth finally swayed your sympathies? Oh, Ravan, I stand with listening. you. I've told you this. Then I have faith in you, brother. Are you preparing a statement about these threats? This has to stop. Are you gonna say something? About? Yes. Ah, great. Finally. And it is going to be the most remarkable statement I have ever made. The destruction of the cooperation between Cassett and Blaine. Destruction? How? Okay. Patience, brother. Who's Blaine? It won't be long now. Take care of the article. Okay. Uh, I will do my best to get it done for you. Give me... Give me about an hour for the draft. I'll put it in the back end. Okay. Good. So I'll we have an waiting. hour. Until After later. this call. Yeah. Until then. So now that we have this, so we can only upload like six more things. So we know that his brother is his co-writer. And he wants, uh, he says that there's cooperation between Kessart and Blaine. Ha! We got a little hubris going, haven't we? No such thing will happen. Kassar and Blaine working together is the best thing that could have happened to Parges. Why destroy it? I don't know. Okay. And then... I'm gonna say he knows that something's gonna happen. For all we know, this guy's been trying to cook up a large-scale stir for years. I don't see it happening quite yet. Yes, he succeeded to some extent with the ongoing riots, but we can keep the situation under control. Oh. Of support of your blog. Okay, I got drained. Yeah, serve art. We have informed you that we have... Oh, this is because we told information. We regret having to inform you that we are temporarily spending our financial support of your endeavor. Our team has become aware of you using our donations to support cause or causes indirectly violating our terms of use. Fun. Okay. What was the Central Medical Database? Okay, this is February 11th. We already know that. How do we have his medical records? When did we get that? What? Still? I doubt that somehow. I mean, I doubt it as well. But, okay. Oh! So the bombing of a school, so he was in the shelter. What? Buried? And he survived this? And then it says he's using a wheelchair because he cannot walk. An unsung hero that you need to know about. My brother is a hero. Okay, so he saved children. Let's see, anything else? His daughter was absent on the day school attacked. Um, oh, he's believed to blame him for the school. That's his motive. Is he, if he really believes that, this would be a strong motive. Good. We can't work solely on what Raven Vart believes, though. We need to clarify whether there are more hints that the cave being involved. Okay. So I need... Oh, I gotta look at the attendance record. That's what it is. Okay, so... What... Okay, so... Okay, we have the draft. That's a journey. An unsung hero. Okay, do we have a date for this? Do we have a date anywhere for this? 
because I need to get that date, put that in the attendance record for the school, and boom, there we go. Let's see, it doesn't say when this happened. Yeah, let's just do that. Maybe we can get a date from uploading that. Saving others while risking his own life. Now I see why his followers treat him almost like a religious figure. Well, Adrian, I think it's become clear that already that Raven is only a shadow of his former self. His actions today are what matters. Okay. Here's the date. Okay, so he lost his ability to bring under concrete. Okay, so it's December 6, 2010. So now we go... Okay, we already know that. Uh, so I need to go to records of attendance. And then on December 10th, or December 6th, 2010, my bad. So we need... Okay, so we know, okay, so we know she was there. So he has reason to believe, okay, but she was actually there, so I'm not gonna upload that one yet, I'm gonna think about that one. A journey. Informed. Waves of refugees come because of terror terrorism. Okay. This is the school was hit, and then it, it's, it's an unknown data chunk. We have the record of attendance. We have she was there. So... No pending article draft. What else is here? Okay. It was a military bombar bombardment that wouldn't be severely. It would show, show conflict. So, this one was published December 7th, that he just said, he said in 2012. So he believes that it was a military bombardment, the article says that it was FTP. Okay, so we gotta figure out... See, they wrote FTP. I mean, I have to say she was there. Like, we have the records. It's just here, he says... It just says... Many children died. He says that his daughter was like his daughter was absent, but we have the record saying that she was there. Maybe she also died. Wait a second. If McKay's daughter was present, then we can be pretty certain that he wasn't involved in the attack. With Var as his her caretaker, he must have been aware. Meaning there must be more behind Vart's threat. We've got there all we need. I'll get an intervention team ready from a local base near Prava to go and look for Bakay. They're on their way. Now let me try and make sense of everything gathered. I need to decide on how we should approach this. Raven Vart was at a school was a school principal back in Prava, Pur Parges. He was the teacher of Oleg Bakay's daughter. He went to fight in the Pargian army. The school was destroyed by a fire of unknown origin. Vart managed to save the students by leading them to a shelter he built, but he lost his ability to walk, and then for a week collected, it's unlikely Piquet had anything to do with the attack. Vart blames him regardless, probably because he found out Piquet is a national agent through a leak. We have no indication that Piquet was disloyal to us, so we have to assume he's innocent in this leak. Now, Piquet is hi out hiding somewhere in Prava for whatever reason. That, this is it. The theory about the situation we're facing, we will make sure to deal with it accordingly. The intervention team is in place. I'm switching over to command, and I'll let you listen in via the listener tool. Yes, I want to tune in. Uh, 
Echo One reporting. Come in, Commander. Of course it's Echo. Commander's reading you. We have arrived at the designated location. What is it like? Sorry, Command. I don't quite follow. The location? Tell me what you see. Looks like ruins of a school that has been hit by a large explosive. Possibly an airstrike. Maybe artillery fire. Hmm. So, the old Can school. you traverse the ruins? Affirmative. But the damage is catastrophic. Are you sure the target is around? Absolutely. Move in and keep me posted at all times. Describe to me everything you see. Understood. Echo Squad, move in. Entering primary hallway now. The hallway has been severely damaged. You can see the sky right through multiple stories. I mean, stories. this place has been Some like hearts are completely ruined caved for in. quite a Proceed while. Proceed with caution, Echo Squad. The damage definitely originated some time ago. There's vegetation spreading all over the place. There are some adjacent Obviously. rooms that seem rather intact. Echo 2, Echo 4, clear them. Rooms are clear. Lots of bags lying around. There are still some geometrical drawings on the chalkboard. The place was clearly left in a hurry. Moving into the next corridor. Now when are they gonna get to the library? There's... Oh, shit! What is it? Part of the ceiling gave way. Nearly hit one of our operatives. Status, okay? Echo Squad. Dust off. Ugh. Can you proceed? Affirmative. Do it. She does Roger. not care. Moving on now. Status? All clear. No traces of the target. Some doors are blocked by debris, but there's zero chance they have been opened recently. Listen, I need you to find the target person. He is around. There's a basement stairwell that we haven't checked yet. Moving there now. Of Watch your corners, Echo basement. Squad. Not much left here either. The projectile went right through half the building like a hot knife through butter. Hate to say it, but we may be out of luck. Wait, found something. There's Which a hatch one? leading further down. Looks used recently. Finally, proceed. Affirmative. Please don't get shot. This is the school's library. Still intact. Someone put a lot of effort into turning this into some sort of autonomous bomb shelter. And they succeeded. Yep. Even the power is still on. From what I can tell, this thing even has working surveillance I cameras. Mean, we on saw the, walls. the picture of the library. Huh. Peculiar. Maybe Bakay is able to use them. Proceed with caution. Definitely wouldn't want to. Movement! Get down! Get down! Echo Squad, contain the target! It's the target. It has to be. Olaf Bakay, we know you're here. There is no way out of this shelter. Throw your weapons into the middle of the room and come out from your position with your hands on your head. Anything? Visual on target. Identity confirmed. It is Oleg Bakay. Your order. Bakay did not betray our secrets. He is too valuable and must be retrieved alive. Is that understood? Roger. Get down and put your palms flat on the ground in front of you. I said get down! Oleg Bakay, surrender and lie down, now! He's not gonna get down, he's gonna get shot, right? Report in. Target cooperative. Oh, never mind. We got him. Oleg Bakay is in custody. Very well. Mission accomplished. Make sure the area is secure, so then disengage. Add that data chunk. Understood. Echo Squad, move out. Okay, inactive. So we know Oleg Bakay is in custody. That went surprisingly well. One could even say, by the book. I'm glad we're in possession of our Agent Bakay once again. Seems it was a wise decision to pick you for this job. For now we wait and... What the? The people's voice. Raven Var is streaming right now. You need to see this. What? Wait, was he streaming the library? The government of the nation is lying to you. That the not- uh... My dear what? followers. Yes. This is exactly what you think it is. I found Oleg Bakay. What? what you see before you is an image obtained from a surveillance camera feed from the ruins of my old school, showing him among soldiers of the nation. These okay. highly trained professionals arrested him, a soldier in the service of the Pagesian army, while he was hiding away from them. 
the true nature of the national government hiding from is them. laid bare before you. He's Through hiding their from propaganda you. machine called the National Beholder, they dared to make their false allegations against me and the people's voice as a whole. They oh claimed I'd be goodness. responsible for Bakay's disappearance when it was them all along. But when President us. Kassat and Prime Minister Blaine are such close friends, why would they arrest a fellow soldier, you might ask? Oleg Bakay was the person responsible for the attack on Prava Secondary, the school I have been principal of a long time he, ago. He's still convinced. And they knew it. They knew no. the moment he disappeared, the blame was on me. To shut me up once and for all. His but daughter the was there. Why did he do that? Cannot be silenced. So what is there to do for you, my dear followers, against the oppressive force of the national government and the Kassat regime? Do not listen to their corrupt and manipulative media outlets. Do not fail to remind Kassat what has transpired here today. He wants do not more let riots. Sweep this under the carpet. More to disorder. Pass the buck, to influence you with such outrageously false information. To make people vanish. To manipulate your thoughts. Or you may be next. Stand up for your rights and resist Kassat. Resist Blaine. Let's retake our country from President Puppet. Oh my. How the heck did that happen? Where do you get those pic- Oh, no, 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 the surveillance cameras. Ah, this this has, this will have severe repercussions, I fear. We will have some more containment to do. Even though we are facing a lot of trouble, you have done well. For now, you may complete your word for today. What if I want to upload more? Can I not upload more? Like... See... The National Beholder said it was FTP, but then he says it was a military bombardment. Can I add that? I mean, what is it going to do for me? Anything? I mean, are you going to say anything? I'm just going to say that because that's what he believes. I mean, might as well upload the rest. I mean, our actions already happened today. I see. I don't. I'm not gonna say that one. He has not calmed the situation. And he also views them as the enemy. But we'll just say that's it for today. I mean, there's nothing else here except. That one, which I don't find to be any amount, has any truth in it. And there's nothing else here, so... Yeah, let's log out. Got thesis. Yeah. We learned he was the last person. His school got attacked by the military, leaving them unable to walk. He was taken into custody. I mean, I guess maybe we were supposed to find him. I don't really know what else it could be. But there's episode two, Anti Antithesis. Welcome back, Agent. We have a little bit of cleanup to do today, haven't we? In massive fallout due to our little intervention, the National Beholder is met with public distress, and by extension, so is the government. Our unorthodox approach to solve the situation has been met with scrutiny. Uh, it has sparked hateful discourse between citizens of Parjus and the nation. Luckily, nothing bad happened to Bakay. The current situation is bad enough as it is. President Kassart has urged Prime Minister Blaine to clarify the circumstances of what exactly happened. Blaine is planning to travel to Triflith tomorrow. We'll leave politics to them. Instead, let's make sure our favorite journalist doesn't interfere. See what he's up to. Okay. Well... Since this video is already a lot longer, because I didn't expect the quiz and then everything else to happen. So, without further ado, we're going to end this video right here. Don't forget I do stream on Twitch. The information for that is going to be down in the description box below. There should be a link and everything. All that jazz. And I also hope you have a good evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time of the day it is when you're watching this. And I hope to see y'all next time.